My name is Feng, and today we're making pizza ai quattro formaggi. Let's do it. For our pizza quattro formaggi today, we've got four different Italian cheeses, starting with fio di latte, which everyone knows is a mozzarella made from cow's milk. We've got gorgonzola, something a little bit stinky that's going to mellow out once we give it a bake. And if you're not a fan of gorgonzola, you can swap it out for a different cheese to make up your four cheeses. We've got provolone, which is a little bit sharp, but it's going to melt down beautifully. Lastly, we've got this taleggio, which is oozy and beautiful. I mean, like, look at that. And I'm going to have a little taste of mm. This is creamy, tangy, a little bit of mushroom, and it's going to be really good on our four cheese pizza. The most important thing about assembling your cheese team is to make sure that each one has a different character to make a really interesting pizza. It's time to make pizza. So this is my sourdough pizza dough recipe. It's up on gauzy.com. They've relaxed and they're ready to blossom into beautiful pizzas today. Cut our first dough ball out. So I'm just gonna form the crust, give it a burp. Ooh, the dough feels really lovely today. I love working with relaxed dough because you don't have to fight it. It just kind of stretches out gracefully, like it's comfortable and feels right at home. Just working on the air bubbles because we love our black spots, but we're not looking for one big, massive charred bubble. We want cute little charred freckles. All right, that's looking good. Next dough ball. Okay, we've got two pizzas. They're around the same size. Let's get cheesy. So I'm going to start with the mozzarella, lay down some foundations, spread this all over the pizza. The other thing to be careful of is to put too much cheese on this pizza. I know it sounds like it's impossible to put too much cheese on a pizza, but what happens is then you get quite a thick layer of cheese and it almost starts to feel like you're eating a quiche. So what we're looking for is like a good even coverage of cheesiness. I want some thin slices of provolone. Slicing your cheese thinly just helps you lay it out onto the pizza to make sure you don't have bald spots. So I like using mozzarella as the foundation of a four cheese pizza because we all love that gorgeous stretchy texture that it gives a pizza. So next up, we're gonna put down our taleggio. So taleggio, it's so gorgeous that I can't resist being a bit generous with this one. So we'll go easy on the gorg because it's not for everyone. I just like to make sure that there's one piece of gorg for everyone. Now that we've finished topping our first pizza ai quattro formaggi, we are going to top this one, but with British cheeses. Here we have a lovely selection of local cheeses. We've got smoked beechwood Wensleydale with apricot. This one is Black Sticks Blue. And then we've got a mozzarella that's been made in the UK. All right, let's get these pizzas on the peel and bake them up. Okay, so the dome is at 450 degrees stone temp. As usual, sugaring off the excess semolina, using your fingers to feel if there's any more still coming out. This is very important. Okay, so um, after you've given it a final stretch, you might want to just uh, redistribute the cheeses if they've bunched up in the middle and then into the oven. We're baking on medium flame today. We're letting the part nearest to the flame puff up and get its first leopard spots before we give it a turn. Pizza ai quattro formaggi is done. Nice. Time for our English four cheese pizza. As usual, just making sure that we don't stretch the center too thin in our final stretch, and then redistributing the chunks of cheese outwards because they tend to like to bunch up in the middle. We're good to go. Mm. 
smells great. Whoa, I love how different they look actually. All right, so we've got our more traditional pizza ai quattro formaggi here. We've got our English four cheese pizza here. Let's cut them up and taste them. All right, so we've got our two pizza ai quattro formaggi. And I'd love to ask Purs to join me to <laughs> enjoy these. They smell like feet. Before we dig in, I'm actually gonna hit them with a little bit of honey. I know mm. it's, I know, I know. Blasphemy, not, shame. It's not traditional, um, but I just really like it because it offsets the savoriness of the cheeses. If you want to be traditional, leave the honey out. We're going to break from tradition today and we're going to enjoy our honey in this. <laughs> with <laughs> in this, a shovel, this sh Honey shovel. Let's go with the traditional one first. Okay, this is gonna be oozy. Oh, 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 mmm, ringy. I like it. I want to try the British one though. Oh, we've got some cheese ball here. Cheese ball. This one smells like like cheese and toast. What do you think? It's definitely so different from the traditional one. But I love how different they taste, so definitely recommend trying out your local cheeses on uh, Four Cheese Pizza. Hey, Purs. Mm-hmm. Where can we find the recipe? You can find the recipe on gosney.com. 